a high school teacher once walked into his class and asked, who wants to be successful? All hands in the class were raised because obviously everyone wanted to be successful. The teacher just nodded his head and started teaching. After the class, he said to his students, after school hours, I'd like to meet all of you at the tea shop down the street. Is that fine with everyone? All of the students nodded, signaling they would be there. After school, they all met at the tea shop. The teacher ordered a big jug of tea and secretly told the waiter to serve it with different drinking vessels. He wanted plastic cups, glasses, mugs, styrofoam cups, and any other type of drinking vessels they may have. One of the students then asked the teacher, Sir, what did you want to talk to us about? I will tell you, but first, let us all enjoy some tea, the teacher replied. The tea arrived and was served exactly as the teacher requested. Once the tea was served, the students immediately started collecting the cups that they would serve their tea in. Most of them had arguments as they all wanted to use the best looking cups. They kept arguing until the teacher got fed up and said to them, that's enough. This is exactly what I wanted to talk to you all about. I just wanted to prove something before I started. I asked a question this morning. I asked, who wants to be successful? And you all raised your hands. I just tested you all. I purposely had the tea served with different kinds of drinking vessels. You all failed the test. When the tea was served, your main focus was not to drink the tea, but rather, you were all focused and bothered by what kind of cup the tea came in. In this life, you can't be successful just because you want to. If you're really observant, you would have noticed that there are some certain characteristics that successful people tend to have. One of them is that successful people do not pay attention to irrelevant things. You were served tea. You shouldn't be bothered by the color or fanciness of the cup in which the tea comes. It's very irrelevant. As long as the cup is good and safe to drink from, then you're good to go. You should only be bothered by the tea. This can be related to our lives. The tea is our families, our careers, our friends, and other very important aspects in our lives. The tea is our success. The cup, on the other hand, is a relevant thing such as social media, television, and many more in our lives. We should be less concerned about the cup and pay more attention to the tea. We should be concerned about how to make the tea to our liking. This can also be looked at from another angle. In the world of today, most people are more concerned by the type of job they do rather than how to be successful with the job. Some certain jobs are looked down on and deemed as jobs for unserious people. Such jobs are seen as unlucrative, while some are glorified and seen as lucrative jobs. For example, if you were presented with a surgeon and a barber, and you were asked who you think is richer, unconsciously, you're already going to judge that the surgeon is richer than the barber, and this shouldn't be. Success shouldn't be judged based on your career path. Any career can make you a millionaire, or even a billionaire, you just have to think outside the box. Let's take a look at the popular brand Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. Who would have thought that a small chicken restaurant would end up being worth over $5 billion? Most people would never think of opening a chicken restaurant simply because it might not make a good profit. But he did that and he definitely made a great profit. In summary, life is like a cup of tea. We often pay more attention to the cup rather than the tea in it. And that should not be. In life, pay less attention to the irrelevant things and focus more on the things that really matter. Remember this. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more from me.